So we're in this four series and tire pressure warning light comes on as well as the um, traction control obviously comes on at times. I'll just turn it on just so you know what it looks like. Something like this but it appears here roughly every now and again. Um, it's been tracked. Obviously tracking was out probably like that before, about that much. And they've tracked it and it's like this now and the car thinks it's not driving straight when it actually is but it's all the sensors so what we need to do after you've done a tracking on any of the bmw one series two series any of the f models really i'm in the abs section and you've got this one here which pings up as well as this and this i'm not really bothered about them it's mainly this one here as far as i remember um these are permanent tire pressure monitor because um there's no sensors in them however even if there was sensor in them the tire pressure warning light will still come up if you've tracked it because um, it will come up no matter how hard you try you've just got to come into i'll show you the icm as well you've got to go into like service into the abs and then just like code it in from full lock to the left full lock to the right so yeah so that's the other thing causing it as well as these two so they're the two things causing it steering angle sensor some people will think oh it's actually faulty but it's actually not it's fine so what you need to do is come out of this i'll clear everything anyway while i'm here so i'll clear it all So here we are, everything cleared. Obviously some stuff will stay within the module. Um, we're going to service um, chassis and suspension. This one, electromechanical power steering. And then steering startup. So what I'll do, hit it. I'll turn the car off. Leave the ignition on and then So we'll hit F2, yes in this case. Um, to me the steering is like really straight, but it's gonna tell us to move in a second. Uh, I'm not putting my foot on the brake. Okay. Fair enough, and then you've got the, um, the light on there, as you can see, the steering. Um, and then let's hit continue. So turn the ignition off, so we'll turn the ignition off. Wait for about 10 seconds and then we'll turn it on. And then that's 10 seconds up. Continue. Sometimes it might not do on the first go, so you'll have to just keep doing it. So that's fine, continue. So it says turn the steering wheel to the left full lock and then back to the middle and then to the complete right full lock again and hold it and then back to the midpoint so we'll do it um so we've done that so so it's now telling us to do a full lock to the left and it should be very light as well even though the engine's not running so that's full lock and then you've just got to pull it a bit hard and then slowly back to the right and that's it put some force on it and then slowly come back to the middle there we are and if i hit continue there you go it's removed the steering light telling us to turn the ignition off which we will Turn it back on. So we'll do it again. Sometimes on the first go, it doesn't like it much, and you'll have to try it again on the second go.
So, telling us to do it again. Here we go. And then hold it there. And then we'll just keep rolling it to the other side. And for lock, hold it there. And then go back to neutral. Here is neutral to me. There we go. Continue. Yep. Hands off it. And then just doing a bit of alignment itself. It's happy with it, so turn the ignition off. So we'll turn the ignition off and wait for about 10 seconds. To be honest, it's all trial and error. Um, done it in the past on the first shot, been happy with it. But in this case, it's um. So that's done. That's stored the new data. So it's been happy with it this time, really. Nothing's come back. So I turn the ignition off. I wait for another 10 seconds. And then let's turn it on again. Okay. So we're all good here. Successful. Continue. And that's finished. Finished. As you can see, it's reset the tire pressure sensor, but obviously the tire pressure sensor will still come on um, because there's no sensors within the wheels, which the wheels have been changed and the sensors will be added to the vehicle. However, if the steering wheel's out, or you know, you've, you've changed track rod ends or whatever it is and the steering's out, you will get tire warning pressure lights. So you'll need to, after you've tracked the vehicle, you'll need to do this to solve it. And then if we were to come out of this, and do a diagnostic scan. It automatically like resets all the modules. So, some of which we'll have gone anyway. We'll be left with one or two. So let's go into the ICM. So, says intermittent, I'll just turn it off. Sometimes with a bit of drive, it will reset it. So let me erase everything. <laughs> 